We're heading towards Auckland International Airport from where the big jets fly. But actually we are on our way to see some smaller flyers. There's obviously more than butterflies here. Oh dear. It's very windy, so let's get inside. First, the fish. I wonder if the fish get bored swimming around the same tank, even though it is large. Now into the butterfly house, where we are surrounded by butterflies. Even on our clothing. But there aren't only butterflies here, they have some unexpected neighbours. Eastern Water Dragon. Do you see it? There it is. American Alligators. Back to the butterflies. Most of the butterflies here were imported as pupae from butterfly farms around the world, but mainly Asia and Central America. They are constantly on the move, making it difficult to get video shots. Or if they rest, they don't stay long, or they hide behind a leaf. Ah, here's the answer. They stop to feed. These are clipper butterflies. They have a liquid diet. Butterflies taste with their feet, but use their proboscis to drink nectar or other liquids. Beautiful blue butterflies can be seen fluttering around, but even when they settle to feed, they rarely open their wings long enough for us to view their beauty. Here's one on the left, a blue morpho butterfly. Another clipper butterfly. And this probably a golden birdwing butterfly. And a different blue variety, possibly a blue moon butterfly. Time to leave the butterfly house and try not to take butterflies with us. More. These large flightless birds lived in New Zealand until humans arrived and hunted them to extinction around 500 years ago. Quiet please, as we are now in the Kiwi house under an artificial nighttime starry sky, as Kiwi are nocturnal. Two northern brown Kiwi live here in separate enclosures and as our eyes acclimatise, will we see one? Is that dark shape in the centre a kiwi? It's not moving, so maybe not. Back out in daylight, these meerkats, members of the mongoose family, are easy to see. Oxy, so Sookie is our dark female, she sits and Oxy just turned five. Wow. We're just over one kg and it's, and it's that's how big they're going to get. Mm. So yeah, I know super so it's an interesting variety. Yes. They also eat, uh, we also feed them live insects. What's that noise? Dinosaurs. But they went extinct many years ago. Don't worry. These are only life-size animated sculptures and so realistic. This one looks hungry.
we need to get away, so let's grab a train ride. Two circuits of the park, including through a couple of tunnels. Time for us to depart with a quick look through the Flutterby shop. Soft, cuddly toys and not so cuddly ones. And the elusive blue butterfly. We didn't get to see all the creatures but it's been an enjoyable, interesting afternoon. <laughs>